Action! From high-speed chases to luxury commercials, camera cars are the real beasts behind all the action. They're strong enough to carry heavy cranes and quick enough to keep up with a Bugatti Chiron driving at 290 kilometers an hour. These are some of the fastest camera cars in the world. Welcome to Explain. High-speed chase scenes have gone from this in Ben-Hur to this in the Fast and Furious. And as chase scenes have gotten faster, so have the camera cars that film them. But these aren't ordinary vehicles. The film production industry work with some of the best cars on the planet. They're customised, of course, with matte black paint jobs to avoid reflections, tweaked engines to go faster. Today we're building a chase vehicle for the upcoming movie. The idea here is that we need a vehicle that's going to be extremely fast. And a whole lot of filming tech. Let's take a look at some of these beasts. Starting with the Porsche Cayenne Turbo and the Panamera Turbo. These camera cars have the perfect mix of speed and strength. And they've been used to film movies like The Fast and Furious and commercials for the Porsche 911 and the Mercedes SLS. They are a favourite among film crews and there's a reason why. These camera cars can carry really heavy camera setups and drive at over 160 kilometers an hour at the same time. They're usually fitted with cranes on the roof that are over 12 feet in length. The crane is connected to a gyro stabilizer which carries a cinema camera. And with it, the camera can move all around the vehicle and film from almost any angle. But it isn't easy. The driver must have exceptional skills and precision behind the wheels. Yeah, go, 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 go. Stay with him, stay with him, stay with him, stay with him. Nice, 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 done. Let me know before you lift, Dave. Here we go. Perfect. Next to him sits the crane operator. We must move it at the right time and avoid collision. Then sits the camera operator. So they're dealing with the panning, the tilting, and the rolling of the camera. And yes, you can operate all of that remotely. The focus puller. This person deals with all of the focusing of the camera. And you can see as you adjust this yellow dial, that adjusts the focus of the camera. The more you adjust it, the more it changes where the camera is focusing on. And the clients. They can give feedback. Oh no, too far to the left, too far to the right, different lighting, that sort of thing. The car also has a lot of filming tech and viewing screens on the inside. And all of these modifications, including the filming gear, makes the car worth over $1 million. So what if you don't need a crane attached to your camera car? Next up, the R35 Nissan GTR. When a crane isn't needed, film crews use cars like the Nissan GTR. They're fast, agile, and perfect for filming on the road or track. They also have a low center of gravity and adjustable sport suspensions that can support heavy camera rigs. We've built it so it can handle everything from the flight head, the minute you see on it now, right down to if you want to load it with 360 degree GoPros, and that means we can add a lot of equipment to it and it doesn't actually interfere with how the car handles too bad. In fact, the R35 GTR was used to film this GTR Nismo commercial in 2020. But the car had to be tuned up. Basically, got the supercar rule book and they ripped it apart and they gave us this 3.8 litre V6 twin turbo. The production company made their own modifications too. For starters, they removed all of the bodywork and welded and mounted aluminium to the crash structure. And this helped support the weight of the carbon fibre gimbal camera mount. The rig fitted on the car was also designed so that the camera could be easily attached to the front or back of the vehicle. And all of this resulted in action shots like this. Next in this category is the Ford GT Mustang. The GT Mustang is a favourite for high-speed action sequences that don't need a massive crane. In fact, the Ford GT Mustang was one of the main camera cars used for filming the movie Need for Speed. But it 
it had to be tuned up. The idea here is that we need a vehicle that's going to be extremely fast to be able to keep up with cars like a Selena 7 and a Bugatti Veyron. The Mustang was fitted with a rig that gave the crew the flexibility to fix the camera at the front, back or side. And this helped capture close-up action shots and dramatic shots at low angles. But what if you have to go faster than this? Before we reveal the supercar category, hit that like button and subscribe to Explained. Presenting the Ferrari 458 Italia. Using a supercar to film a movie or commercial is rare, and these are only used when other cars just can't keep up. For some of the chases in Need for Speed, the Mustang was simply not enough. So the Ferrari 458 Italia was brought in. And then they have the Ferrari. But this isn't the only Ferrari used as a chase car. A company named Filmotechnic used a Ferrari 360 Modena on one of their shoots, and reports say a UK-based company named RAL used a Ferrari 488 Challenge as a camera car too. Although there aren't any details about the car's modification or what it filmed, the setup on the car looks pretty slick. Next is the Bugatti Chiron. We've all seen this commercial of a Bugatti Chiron doing 0 to 400 in 42 seconds. It even set a world record. Now, it's obvious that a lot of it was shot with a drone, but this track shot where the Bugatti is driving over 290 had everyone wondering how it was filmed. Well, it turns out it wasn't a green screen or a drone. Al Clark, the automotive filmmaker and director behind this, revealed that it was filmed using another Bugatti Chiron. Who knew? He simply attached a small rig to the second Bugatti and used a small DJI X5 camera to film. So that was the system that we put on. So then we used a slightly modified version of that, which was then supplied by my friend Ian May, who's a camera car specialist as well. Out of box, I was going to use just the normal drone like I always use, um, but just for the sake of safety in film, we thought like, well, why not use that one? And we kept mine as a spare. And in fact, you can see it in this shot here, the drone in the box on the back of the car. After this, it was just a matter of coordinating the launch of both cars at the right time. Pretty cool, right? But. Since this was a one-off shoot, the title of the fastest camera car will go to another beast. Presenting the Lamborghini Huracan. The Lamborghini Huracan, or in this case, the Huracan, is officially the fastest camera car in the world. This monster has a speed of 323 kilometers an hour without a rig, and a speed of 201 kilometers an hour with a camera setup attached. It's been used to shoot feature films, TV shows, and commercials for cars like the McLaren 600LT in 2019. Thanks to some extreme modifications, the Huracan is worth over $500,000, which is twice the price of the actual car. Active Films, who owns it, says so the Hurricane has been modified with a VF engineering supercharger to increase its power. <laughs> and it's been lowered three-fourths of an inch to change the centre of gravity and alter the flow of air. The Huracan has a gyro stabiliser for smooth shots and the rig can be retrofitted with any kind of camera and lens. Yeah, look at that. So, Ingenue 25250 Optima. And get this. This camera car is operated by only two people, the driver and the camera operator. It's unbelievable how steady it is. Even at the like longest focal length. It's like the world's most expensive video game. <laughs> there are other camera cars out there like the Mercedes-Benz ML63, the Ford Raptor, and the BMW, which was used in this Aston Martin Superleggera shoot. Which chase car is your favourite? Tell us about them in the comments and don't